In many places around the world, we find great and really unnecessary costs linked to goods handling. We are sending all kinds of things long distances on roads. This can lead to severe environmental problems, wear and tear of the roads and vehicles, high energy consumption, traffic congestion, traffic accidents, and a waste of time. There are time-consuming logistic problems at the goods handling terminals and harbours, but we can't build new goods handling terminals where they're needed. There is now an ingenious solution to all these problems that cuts the costs, saves the roads and vehicles, reduces the bottlenecks and environmental problems to a minimum. It's a real win-win solution for everyone. The name is FlexiWagon. Let's see how it works. Here is Rainer. He is driving this big refrigerating truck from the food processing factory in Germany to Milan in Italy. When he arrives at a rail yard near Basel, it's time for his statutory resting time. Instead of pulling over to a resting area, he is driving up to a flexi wagon that is waiting for him. Rainer uses his card on a card terminal at the wagon and a handheld remote control to activate the opening sequence. He then drives the truck up onto the wagon and connects the onboard power supply to the chiller unit on the trailer so the cargo will be kept cold without using any diesel fuel. He then closes the flexi wagon and takes his place in the passenger car situated at the end of the train. On the trip to the Italian border, Reina will have the opportunity to get a good rest, eat lunch and even finish some paperwork. Reina has a lot to win when he chooses to go by flexi wagon train. He saves a lot of time, the rail traffic is generally a lot faster than the road traffic and as the train can reach speeds of 160 km per hour, he saves not only time that he can spend resting and eating lunch, but he also saves fuel and wear on his truck. It is also cheaper and a lot faster than other rail solutions, thus there is no need for expensive terminals. During the 300 km long journey through Switzerland, the train makes a 7 minute stop to take a bus on board and unload a truck. The train driver activates the wagons that have to open during the stop via a touch screen in the cabin of the locomotive. The truck driver that is taking the truck from the train uses her credit card and remote control to open the wagon. while the wagon that is taking the bus on board is operated by the train driver. This is because the bus is a regular user of the flexi wagon service and therefore billed by invoices. As we see, the flexi wagon does not need a special terminal for loading and unloading, only access to a nearby road and an area big enough for some semi-trailers to turn around. The surface of the area for loading and unloading is not critical at all. So long as a truck can easily drive there, it will also be possible to load and unload the flexi wagon. The FlexiWagon's onboard diagnostic system, named WCS, or Wagon Control System, is monitoring all critical parts such as wheel bearings, the braking system, the hydraulic and electric systems. 
It is connected to the TCS, or train control system, in the locomotive to inform the train driver about the status of the wagon. It also sends information in real time to connected service depots, so they can send out the mobile service team if needed. Or when the wagon arrives for service. Furthermore, it also keeps track of the wagon's geographic position via GPS and whether it has a load or not. This is very useful information for transport and logistics operators. At the final destination, we have full road access on both sides of the railway track for a fast turnaround. This means that the whole train can be loaded and unloaded simultaneously, without any logistic hassles whatsoever. The FlexiWagon outperforms all other land transport systems when it comes to the combination of flexibility, economy, time-saving and environmental friendliness.